Welcome to Fugui. Hi, I'm Stu. I'm a backpacker from England, traveling around southeast of Asia as much as I can. And I arrived on this island yesterday. And within 24 hours, I have fallen in love with this place. There is no other Westerners on this island. There is just me. So, Fugui, what is it? Where is it? It is off the coast of Vietnam. And you can see on the map where it is. And it is about 100 kilometers that way unfortunately there's not a lot online about this place that is written in English and um, in fact the only thing I could find was dated about 11 years ago to give you details about the place but I've been around the island and this is the last windiest time I've had to start filming um, this morning I started at five o'clock I went down to watch a sunset on that side of the island, which was amazing. The I thought I'd be the only one there. Unfortunately, uh, there was loads of tourists, uh, Vietnam tourists, um, all watching at the same time. But I was there for about 45 minutes, just taking the sight in, and it was beautiful. And then I went back to the guest house which I'm staying at and you can hear the wind starting to pick up so I'm going to get away from here. I went back to the guest house for a couple of hours because the heavens opened up and I just lost my heart with the wind. Oh, that's how windy it is. I've now come inland about five or six streets up from the beach area and I'm now in this beautiful park and you can still feel the wind. It's a windy day and as I was saying the rain came down for a couple of hours and it's not rained on the island for about two months so the, the locals were quite happy but there's no evidence of it being raining from about two three hours ago it's all dried up now because of the wind there are so much to see that I want to go which is all by the beach or in the mountains that it's going to affect the sound quality so tomorrow is my day of going out today is just a snapshot of the island of why you should be here and come to see a remote island that no one's heard of this part is really nice and that's the bike I've got for the next couple of days while I'm here. Got it from uh, the guest house I'm staying at. No idea how much it costs because they do the bill at the end. Which is unusual for some places because they want the money up front. But just there is the symbol of the island. It's going to get closer. And there it is. Now the lighthouse and... The mountain behind it of places I will be going to see. Now according to the map, this is the community centre. And I would take Google Maps and any other maps on this place with a pinch of salt. It's not been updated for a while. According to um, the maps, there is no ATMs on the island. That's a lie. There's one just there. To find it, if you are coming to this island... You've got a look at banks and you'll get the ATM and it's the only one on the island. There's a lot of information that you can't find. Um, but I was lucky enough that in the guest house I'm staying in, the owner speaks really good English and she gave me a, a tourist book which was uh, written by the islanders. And it tells you where to go, what to see, the myths, the legends. So I've been reading up on that and I'll be able to go out tomorrow to tell you everything. And although I keep saying tomorrow, tomorrow, it's only because of weather. Because even now, when you look at the skies, it's just very cloudy, not the bluest that I've had. And 
you may think, oh, it's been raining, it's windy. This is the coolest it's been in Vietnam since I've been here. And it's glorious. I'm not sweating as much. And it's just nice. And this is the book that um, was written by the People's Committee of Fuku District and it's in English and Vietnamese so I'm, I'm, I'm studying it I'm now going to get onto the bike and just show more of the island that's got no wind I've now travelled to the western side of the island for a bit of late brunch and I've had to take my hat off because it keeps getting blown off and this is the only place i found that's got no wind because it's protected everywhere by these buildings and uh, nature but the place i went to i couldn't film because of the wind but uh, you can see inside it is um very modern it's trying to get the tourists and for breakfast brunch i had fried pork with noodles which is a vietnamese breakfast and it was beautiful but even here, oh, the wind's picking up, there's the bike. And you get a lot of nature, you can see them wading birds in there. It's just untouched, it's just a beautiful, beautiful island. I'm loving it. But let's try to find somewhere else there's no wind. I've come to a stop and this is what I've come to see and this looks amazing. It is a pagoda and I can see it from all the way down there and I went, oh, what's that? Now, unusually for a place that has hardly any Western tourists, and I've seen a couple of these already, signs in English. So basically the shortfall is it was built in 1747 but at the end of the 18th century it was burnt down and the Buddhist monks and nuns came together to rebuild a new one on found on the foundation. So I'm gonna have a quick look in. Is the gate open? Yeah it is. When you do come in, before you get to the gates, you've got this little picture of uh, Buddha, and I'm assuming that's what they're trying to build here. You can just see the scaffolding and the outline of Buddha. Let's have a wander in. So you can see we're there on the island. <laughs> Didn't really give you a lot to go on. But this is beautiful. It's really well maintained. Oh, look at that over there. That is stunning. Wow. And this is temple, the pagoda, and I'm holding on my hat here because the wind's getting strong. I'm going to have a wander inside if I can.
for such a small island and there's only about 21,000 people that live on this island this place is amazing so we, oh, shoes off oh god that ground's hot Wow. I had to leave because the ground was so hot that it was burning my feet so <laughs> Ow! And you've got just little... Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Look at that! you got that one there. How big is that one? So I have seen this figure I'm on Vietnam a few times. That's big. Oh there's more over there. And I've seen this a few times. Not as it is now, but a monkey, a pig, a princess. And someone at the back with a horse. Oh my god, there's more! It's like a theme park of. Oh, there's the monkey figure looking out to the distance. With tiger. How big is this place? Oh, there's a bridge. God, he's been working out, hasn't he? Oh, look at that. Oh, there's fish in there as well. Even the figurines around the... the river. Oh my... God. Different. More over there. And there's the pagoda. And the music in the background just sets it off just right. You just chill as you walk around. There's nobody here but me. And got the people over there that look like they are construction workers because there seems to be a bit of work going on around here. Now that's a better view here. Oh, well, you can get close up with these uh, figurines. Would be wrong to get a selfie with any of them. That is an amazing little place. I'm glad I stopped. It was on my list of things to do. I didn't realise how big this place was. Uh, things to do tomorrow, but it means I've got more stuff to see when I head out with no wind. But yeah, it's beautiful. I'm quite impressed. Yesterday, when I arrived, I spent a couple of hours trying to find out where the village town centre was. And I didn't really find it and I've discovered that it doesn't really have a central area within the town but this is the closest you'll get um, there is various hotels, restaurants lots of coffee shops around this area a little square area that you can sit down not on that one, blown over You can see the clouds are getting a bit darker. I wonder if more rain's coming. And in the background, you can just see the pagoda where we've just been. And yesterday afternoon, when I was really hungry, that's 
where I went to have something to eat. Uh, they gave me a menu, obviously not in English. I got my Google Translate lens out, and this is what it translated as. Don't trust Google Translate. The menu didn't look appetizing, so I just pointed to something and just went, yeah, I'll take that. Um, and the meal's really quite nice. And because there's no tourists here, or very little of it, it's so cheap. So, so cheap. Am I selling it here? Do you want to come here? You need to. So when I came across, I had originally planned to stay for two nights to spend one day going around and get, get out. Uh, within an hour of being here, I changed it to three nights. And after spending 24 hours here, four nights, I am staying here because it is really, really cool. Um, I like it. Riding around on a scooter is really tiring. So I've stopped off for a break and I can feel a bit of rain dropping. Hopefully it's not going to be a downfall. Now the guest house I'm staying at is down here and I was given a recommendation when I asked for a coffee shop to come here. Um, now I can see there are a load of bikes so it's quite popular. There is shade from any rain that come down. And one of the things I've discovered since I've been in Vietnam is yogurt smoothies. So I'm going to treat myself to one right now. It's quite a cool place. Now I've got the menu and unfortunately there's no yogurt drinks on here but I've gone for a caffeine sua nong which I'm hoping is something I've had before. If not, it's something new. But just all the way around this swings, chirp music, there's a hammocks over there if I wanted to have a light down. And I've got shade just in case it stops, starts raining. It's just a chilled out place. And it looks quite cheap, 10,000 dong for coffee it's cheap love it loving it here and this is it so it's got condensed milk at the bottom you've got the coffee from in here which is hot which just drips down you've got some ice there if you want to make into a nice coffee they always give you whatever you drink uh, a glass of iced tea and I'm just gonna wait for it to stop dripping get filled up and enjoy my coffee that coffee was really nice a bit strong but the condensed milk you stir it in makes it a bit sweeter lighter it's really a little small one but 10,000 dog did me and you can feel that wind already and I thought I'd just come down to the dock so this is where I uh, docked yesterday there's my little bike in the middle of nowhere so most islands when you arrive will have a big welcome to the island sign this has got a step and then you just arrive here it's also a work dock at the same time so you can see all the ships coming in loading building material over there you've got um, supplies coming onto the island there that truck over there looks like it's just got alcohol in it important stuff um, it's a working dock you've got all the ships in the background and if we can get a bit closer I don't want to disturb the guys when they're working I've got to turn my hat around because it keeps falling off with the wind. But I'm just walking down from these working guys. I was just wondering if there is some chance that I'd be building another dock. Hello! Hello! How are you? 
I'm good. somewhere that's been recommended the problem with this place is in about 10 years time it will be so touristy that this will all change so the best time to come here is now <laughs> look at my bike all by itself oh bless it According to Google Maps of attractions to see, this is one of them. It's a flagpole. <laughs> so, can we see it because it was in the area? However, I think this leads onto a view, but you can see from the flag, the wind is quite strong. It's the Vietnam flag, so. I'm hoping at least for a nice view. Hello. Good for surfing. Yeah, the wind is strong. That's another thing to do in the island. See the flagpole. Right, it's time to go somewhere else. This wind is annoying. <laughs> But it's only for one day, I hope. Right, I'm gonna head back to the guest house, but I thought on the way back I'd give you a quick view of this as a ride round. was the journey from the flagpole to the guest house. Now as you can see the sun is starting to go down so 
it's getting a little bit cooler got down to about 27 28 degrees which is still hot compared to UK so I'm gonna go for a run it has been a long day starting with the sunrise until now so yeah go for a run and then I'm gonna chill out for the rest of the night after grabbing some food but if you've enjoyed what you've seen so far of this beautiful beautiful island then you need to press that like button tomorrow is going to be uh, an all day event of seeing as much as I can um, according to what's in that guidebook I showed you earlier but if you want to see it you've got to press that subscribe button and until next time bye bye for now